Someone recommended this game, Fatal Midnight. They swore that I would like it. I checked out the reviews. A couple people said it was uh, one of the scariest games they've ever played. We'll see about that, okay? From the Darkness is the number one scariest game that I've ever played. It's gonna be hard to dethrone from the darkness, but we'll see how close it gets. My parents went on vacation. I was left to look after my sister and she has problems. Sometimes she is very strange, so I have to look after her. Everything is fine until I heard strange noises in the middle of the night. Damn those sounds. My sister is probably feeling bad again. I have to go check. Okay. Oh, we're in. Okay. I thought we were still waking up. Now there is one thing I do need to check real quick. <gasps> All right, guys, we already know. We already know this is going to be an all-time classic horror game because we got some Death Chord 3 on the shelf. That just screams quality. I see this dev is a man of class. I can appreciate that. All right, here we go. Let's go check on our sister. So, okay, that leads outside. What's in here, though? Is that the closet? Yeah. Uh, nothing in here at the moment that we need to pick up. I don't see. No keys or anything. So let's head out here. Now, we've been in this house many, many times before in other games. Let's see what's over here. Is this our sister's room? Uh, looks like it. Although I don't see her. Okay, it's strange that she's not there. I need to find her and ask how she is. All right, so we need to track her down. Yeah, this is the same house from Nine Child Street, Heart Attack. Um, trying to think. There's a bunch of other games we've played where we, we're always in the same house. But, you know, same house, different story. It's okay. It's okay. I just feel like I live here, that's all. There's a sense of familiarity about this game. Makes you wonder where she is. You think she's downstairs? What's over here? All right, so this is the office. Parents' bedroom over there. It's kind of dark. I don't have a flashlight, though. All right. Well, the only objective is to find our sister, so let's focus on that. No sense in giving ourselves the entire house tour until we need to. What, what's this? Nothing. Okay. Dude, I feel like I'm drunk. I mean, maybe maybe we're swaying around like that because we're tired. We just woke up. But holy crap. I turned up the volume just a little bit. Hopefully it's not too loud. Dude, every time I see that, I think of William Shatner. Every time. Okay. Okay, I think we found our sister, maybe. Maybe that's her. I'd like to turn some lights on. I mean, I guess the lights are on. It just seemed a little a little dark, like a flashlight would be nice right now. Oh man, okay. So the door just opened. No sign of our sister yet. Dude, can we can we get a flashlight? Oh my god. Is this it? Are we are we finally going to get one? I don't see any movement. No. No shower curtain jump scare. Good setup though. Nothing in the window. Yeah, it's so dark. Can we leave? Are we allowed to leave? Yeah, the door's open. Damn, dude. All right, so she's not in there. Oh, that's her right there or something. It's kind of blurry, but there's definitely a girl over there. 
She's probably gone to the basement. I need to follow her. Or not. Or not. We just go to bed. We'll check on her in the morning. That's what that's what I vote. We check on her in the morning when we're well rested and the sun's up. And we can see. All right, well, here we go. Yeah. I don't see anything. The lights are out. I need to find the flashlight. It's on the second floor near the computer. All right. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, go through here. We should be okay. I don't think anything's going to happen to us until we go down into the basement. Uh, near the computer. Okay. So. I, s I hear crying. But I don't think we should hear her all the way up here. Here's the computer room. Like, if she's all the way in the basement, <laughs> this is the room where the flashlight is. Yeah. I got it. Holy shit. Industrial strength. Let's go. Oh, that's a nice flashlight, too. I like that. I like it. Yeah, I feel like leaving sister... <laughs> leaving sister down in the basement. I mean, what, what's she going to do? What's the worst she can do? Start flipping breakers? Like, who gives a shit? I'm not trying to die. See, now that we have the flashlight, I kind of want to look around a little bit. Okay, no spooky dolls from Nine Child Street lurking around. That's the vibe I get. Like, being in this house. Because when you play Nine Child Street, they have that My Buddy doll that, that roams around. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, like, in that game, he was in one of these closets. This was like a bedroom. And, uh, like, even though I know that's not this game, I still feel like he's watching because that game, I, I needed to get a better thumbnail without me on the screen, so I replayed the game. Holy shit. Like, I, even though I already played it, I didn't realize, like, when you stream, most streamers know this, uh, you miss a lot of details. You miss a lot of stuff because you're reading the chat. You're, you're, you know, you're not really paying as much attention as you would if you were, um, you know, 100% focused on the game. When I replayed it, I saw three more times during that game that he was watching you from like different parts of the house, like peeking over like the dining room table. There's another part where he was outside the house looking through the window. Dude, it, I'm getting fucking chills talking about it. And it's crazy to think that I played that whole game and he was watching me in those times and I didn't even realize it, which only made it scarier, like in retrospect. So we got the flashlight. I like the depth of field sometimes. But I feel like this game is just a little too blurry. It, it's not a huge deal, but I mean, look at that. You, can, you can't even see the, the dining room table from here. It's just a blur. Okay. All right, heading down. This is where we die. Okay. She's crying over here. I don't know what that other noise is. It kind of sounds like a film reel or something going. I don't know what that sound is. I'm going around the back way. We're gonna... Gonna try and do a sneak attack on her. Oh, I thought that was her right there. Oh my god, dude. Oh, dude, is she gonna attack us? Do you think she's the problem? Or do you think there's like a... Like a ghost? Or a demon? That kind of like watches over her. She stopped crying and the light flickered. I don't know what that means. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dude, the headset almost went flying. Uh, fucking fuck. Uh, fuck.
fucking fuck was that? I didn't even get to read the rest of it. I was stuck on fucking fuck. Oh my, oh my God, dude. Dude, the headset almost got launched through my monitor. Why is there no sound? Oh, no, no, we got sound, okay. Holy shit, man. <sighs> Jesus, God. All right, hold on. <sighs> Shit's exhausting. All right. Dude, fuck that bitch. Why are we even down here? I, like, that's enough right there. If I was trying to help her, I'd be like, you know what? If you're going to act like this, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. But what scares me is that, uh, or concerns me, I should say, um, is that if that's what they're willing to do, holy shit, man, we, we could have some, like, crazy jump scares. Like, what if something else pops up at the top of this, this staircase? Dude, I do not want to die playing these games. I, I don't want to have a heart attack midstream. Okay, first my sister knocks me out and then the lights go out. Fucking great. Okay, so all the lights in the house are out now. Phone's ringing. I think it's coming from this direction. I'm just, I, I, I know the phone's over here. I'm just kind of observing. Observing my surroundings, making sure no one's watching us from the shadows. The phone was ringing. Why is it now ringing that we picked it up? Hey, son. I know what happened to her. Go to your room. Under the bed, there is something that will help you. Thanks, Dad. I recognize that voice. I need to go to my room. There's something under the bed that will help me. No shit. That's what Dad just said. That voice. Oh, yes. Yeah, TikTok AI voice. That's exactly what it is. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Can we leave? Can we just go? heard something over here oh my god I didn't even think about the fact that we have to reach under our bed because you know it's like oh there's something under the bed that will help you and it's like oh cool and now I'm just like playing it out in my mind before we even get there that I'm gonna have to reach under my bed <laughs> you! what the fuck Wasn't that our, that's our bedroom, isn't it? Well, now we're in our sister's room. I, I do not want to be here. I didn't get a good look at her. All I saw was her hand. Because I'm like, I'm anticipating the jump scare being under the bed. Oh, I wasn't expecting her to be right at the door. What's this? Uh, it's just like, it's a painting, but I, I didn't notice it until now. All right. I thought that's our bedroom. So. So now what? There's something under the bed, maybe under our parents' bed. I mean, because if I can't go into my own room, that's the only option we have. This should be a bathroom right here. Let's see if there's a, there is a shower curtain. Okay. Something just opened. All right, hold on, hold on, focus. Focus. All right. So here's a bed. Dude, I don't even want to fucking check. I don't even want to check. 
Unless that was the sound of our door opening. Maybe that was our bedroom door creaking open. Maybe she's letting us in now. Because I can't do anything here. Dude, I'm so fucking nervous. Because, like, that jump scare at the door, I was not expecting that. Like, sometimes you can kind of get a vibe of when something's going to happen. I did not expect that. Now it's like <sighs> anything can happen anywhere. Oh, my God, dude. I don't know. Yeah, over this way. Come on, man. It. <gasps> Dude, she was on the fucking ceiling. I hate that I keep missing her. It's so quick. All right, all right. All right, she left by crawling on the ceiling. Can we shut our door? No, door stays open. Fuck. I don't know where she went. All right, dad said there's something under our bed. Well, how do we, how do we check? Oh, is it this right here? Okay. Oh, great, we're gonna fucking kill our sister? Hey, I, I got something that's gonna help you uh, take care of your sister. Oh, some like maybe painkillers or sleeping pills, you know? Calm her down a little bit. No, no, it, it's a shotgun. No, you're going to blow her fucking brains out. That's the only option, son. She's not your sister anymore. Should I fire one shot just to see? What's that noise? What's that noise? I can hear her walking around the first floor. I need to find her. Warning shot. Okay. I can't believe that this is the solution. Like... We went from, oh my God, our sister's in trouble. We got to go check on her. So now we're looking for her while, ca ah! I can't run. I don't think there's ammo. Like, I don't think I have an ammo count. Come on, dude. I hate that when I run, the flashlight goes off to the side. Where is she? Here she comes. Here she comes. I, I do have to reload. Come on. Fuck. That would have been perfect. I love how I went from thinking it was, you know, kind of messed up that we had to kill our sister to just I'm all in. I'm all in at this point. Where's she at? <laughs> I don't I don't hear her. Dude, I had the perfect shot. Wait, footsteps? She behind me? Dude, I can't see shit. I have a flashlight, but I can't see anything. Hang on a second. I think I hear her. I think she's over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely over here. I still can't see, though. The flashlight literally only lights what's right in front of me. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm. Dude, she's got to be, like, right here. Come on, dude. I'm good. I've had enough. I want to stop now. All right, here we go. Dude, it's so hard to run because then I can't see because the light goes off to the side. And now I don't see her. I almost want to just wait. Dude, where the fuck is she? 
Here, right here. There she is. Take that. Would that say terrorist wins? However, shortly after this fatal midnight, the police arrive on the scene and arrest Daniel. As it turns out that he has a mental disability and is taking pills, this led to the tragic incident. In reality, the sister is trying to get away from her brother by hiding from him to preserve her life. The sister was not possessed by demons. It was all Daniel's fantasy. Neighbors who heard her screams and gunshots in impatiently called the police hoping to help the unfortunate girl, but there was no way to save her. The girl was shot with a shotgun. Guilty. Uh, Daniel is put into a mental hospital and he realizes what happened. What the fuck? Oh my God. I love how, how chill the music is. Like, yep, that just happened. Enjoy the vibes. Yeah, it was all in our head. So it turns out Daniel was just on drugs. We were the monster. We were the monster the entire time. Well, what was weird about the phone call is that the phone was ringing and we picked it up. And when you, obviously when you're getting a phone call, you pick it up, there should be someone already talking on the other end. Like, hey, how's it going? We picked it up and then it sounded like we were dialing out. So I, I don't know. I mean, maybe that was like a clue that it was in our heads because it wasn't, that, that phone call was not normal. Yeah, we did it guys, we win. We win. What's the prize? Uh, you're a convicted murderer.